first lesson St. Matthew chapter 23 verse 8 But be not ye called Rabbi for one is your master even Christ and all ye are brethren Brethren have you heard what is read unto you? Have I no right to address a white person as my brother? Has the white man not got the right to call me brother while I call him the same? Have the citizens of the Cameroon not the right to address Nigerians as brothers and vice versa? Has a Muslim not got the right to address a Christian as his brother, while the Christian also addressed the Muslim as a brother? Have Roman Catholic members not the right to call Protestant members brothers and vice versa? All the divisions created, all the small empires people carve out for themselves, were done when you were afflicted under the work of darkness. But now the light has emitted in and darkness has taken to its heels. Segregation is sinful. There is also one monotheistic God. There is only one Father Abraham we have. We have only one Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ. What is the usefulness of being guided by party spirit? To come to claim to be a Catholic or claim to be a Methodist. Others claim one church denomination or the other. Others claim to be members of secret society. You claim to be a mark of our Freemasonry or of Boney. Others claim they are necromancers or wizards or apparition or charm. However, my happiness lies in the fact that in a government the functionaries are made up of members of various religions, members of various secret societies. A thief is also there, a murderer, a highway robber, members of EKP, EKPO and OBOM. They discuss together, they eat and drink together. But if you address any of them as a brother, he will warn you not to call him a brother again. What name then shall I call you? If you do not go to Europe, you will not know that there are so many blacks in Europe. But if you go there, you live and stay with the whites in the same apartment. Marry the European women. A white marries a black. You live together, eat together, travel and attend meetings together. Who then do you call brethren? Do not call any person by any other name but the name of brother and sister of the same parent. Under one God, man has a tendency to deceive himself. Right now, a child who is born in Europe or in America has the privilege to claim the right of citizenship. He has equal right with the white children born with them. If you marry from America, you have automatically obtained a certificate of naturalization. What is the difference? You can any moment declare your right of citizenship in any country you have stayed. Has the scale not fallen from your eyes yet? What is most ludicrous is that from your 
family. Your father is a member of a Wesley Methodist. Your son is in the Roman Catholic. Other members belong to other denominations. When you come out from your family, you argue and quarrel outside to the point of breaking and condemning yourself. But when you come back to the house, you eat from the same plate, drink from the same pot and cup, and arrange cordial relations between your members of the family. Who do you deceive? Yourself or God? Kingdom divided against itself fall. In the same token, upon the number of trade denominations established in the village, if anything is done in the village, not one of the church names will be used. You will always come together as members of the same village, but within the church circle you quarrel and condemn yourself for how long will you continue to remain in darkness what has our lord jesus christ said he says any kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation have you not seen desolation and pestilences in the world a criminal is your brother we are all brethren, but you say you are not my brother, and I too say that I am not your brother. Because of this, we fail, become poor, we die, wage war, and kill ourselves. God does not consider all these. He only regards himself as our father. We are from one town or village, but you create division, holding that you are no more from the same town. You drift to one side, and another group move to another side. This is what brings about problem in the world to the whole world. For one to be a liar does not stop him from being your brother. For one to be truthful does not stop him from be being your brother or for, be or for being with you. For him to be a fornicator does not stop him to be your brother. For one to be a necromancer does not stop him from being your brother. Call a spade a spade. Only open your eyes and watch. Just as God loves me, so does he love you and every other person. As he reveals himself to me, so does he reveal himself to you and all others. Even fishes in the water, animals in the forest. Have you therefore not realized that he is not as stupid as you are? As God protects you, he does, so does he protect me. So does he protect the trees, the fishes, and the roots. Man cannot save himself, and so the entire responsibility is his. As he is your God, so he is my God. As he is your God, so is he their God. And, and we are all of equal right to him. He is the God of all. Therefore, call no man Lord or teacher or father, for we are all brethren. Proclaim this gospel to the world, world, that the work of darkness is over. No matter how sinful we are, God does not deny us. He has said that he will change us at the fullness of time, he will change the whole world. Even if we deny him, he will not deny us. He remains our God forever. You claim to be 
Anikramansa. You claim to be a ghost. Who is God of the ghost? Or who is God of the Nikromancer? Are you feed on bark of trees? Who has created the bark of trees? Is God not the creator? You say you are being you are bowing down to a stone. Who has created this stone? Is it not God? What do you mean when you say God of heaven? God of the earth? Who created the trees and the stone? Why do you not call a spade a spade? Every person is your brother. The whole world has acknowledged the existence of God on earth. He created heaven and earth. The whole western world, the Hindus, the Muslims, the, Res the Resicution members of the Necromancers know this. But why do we not worship and honor him as God? Do not call any man God. Do not call anyone father. Do not call anyone teacher because he is the only one who bears all these names. Why we are brotherhood is because of being of the same nature. This shows that we are from the same family. Have you not seen that we are brothers? All the things that befall you are what befall the whites. The type of sickness you complain of, just as you complain of waste pain, so will a white man complain. Your ways of life are also led, are also led by the whites. It comes to conclusion that we are all brothers. Why we receive punishment is because we reject the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ that you should call no one any other name because we are brothers and sisters. But you say that a person is not your brother because you are not born of the same mother. You rather refer to a person as your cousin, your nephew or uncle. Let our second lesson be read. Listen attentively. Second lesson. St. John chapter 10 verse 16. And other sheep I have which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring. And they shall hear my voice. And there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Have you not realized the basis of your problem? He said... I have other sheep which are not of this fold. Them also must I bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. That is the plan of God. Do not therefore doubt what is happening now, that one, that of one fold and one shepherd. It is not of my making, Neither is it done by you, rather it is the fulfillment of his words. This is his own plan. He said, I have other sheep which are not of this fold. The Muslims are other sheep. The necromancers, the Hindus, the whole western world, he has to gather unto himself. They will hear his voice. Do not be surprised to see a necromancer knocking his head on the ground. See all and sundry, all the churches are being one with God. Blindness is itself a bad disease. Do not wish that you should be called blind. 
Half education is another big sickness. It is not a thing of pity for the government to say. Is it not, not, is it not a thing of pity for the government to say, lay aside things of God? This is no concern of the government. The whole government says she has nothing to do with Christ. You will be thrown into prison if you go to any of their houses and make mention of the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. You will be questioned, which Jesus? All antichrists are other sheep outside the fold. The government chooses to go to work on Sundays. Companies say they have nothing to do with the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. They have no form of business with it. They are only concerned with their business. The whole government is sheep spoken of by our Lord Jesus Christ. And the command refers to a tree as is God. Those in hotels think of their drinks. They are all the other sheep. The whole world is but the children of God. Is it not a sympathetic thing to find in your town or village 40 different churches with various, with very few members in them? Those who do not go to church at all form the majority even the 40 different churches are discriminating against themselves waging war against themselves and even indulging in the preparation of concoction is it not a sympathetic situation when we are in one fold all what could be Turned man, all the angels, all creation of God will form this one fold and there be only one shepherd. In the time past, you thought that if you were an angel having wings, you would fly. What is the situation now? What did the angel say to John? Do not bow down unto me, but unto God. I am your brother. We are all brothers and messengers of God. An angel is your brother. The duty we all have to perform is to address the other as a brother. All human beings are brothers. I am revealing this to you that you may not be confused or worried by names. Let the name necromancers not bother you. Now a person who claims to be a Roman Catholic member nor a pagan only teach them this one thing. Let the whole world know that we are all brethren. All those names are given by him and new and as numerous as we cannot bear a common name. The different names do not prevent us from being brethren. We are brothers and sisters but do not possess one and the same faith. Our faces are different. They are not identical. It is erroneous to say that the person takes to that fellow. God does not create two people of exactly the same kind. But does, but does that prevent us from being brothers and sisters? We are only one person. There is only one son. We have different races in this one son, the white, 
the black, the red, and the yellow. This has no part to play. Only know that we are only one flock. We are all but one man. But from this one man came different gifts. Some will come, some will become exasperated. Some will take up machetes. Some will take up hoes. Some will tell lies. Some will dispense judgment. It is no other God. It is the same God who endows people with different gifts. Let this not confuse you into saying that such a person is not a child of God. What else can he be? You have to spread and preach this gospel to every person to forsake the foolishness of calling himself this or that. We are all brethren. The stones, water, the fishes are all brethren. Once we come to this knowledge, then fear and division, evil, communic evil communication and stealing will cease amongst us in the, same, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let the golden text be read. Listen to that text. Golden text. Galatians chapter 3 verses 28 to 29. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For we are all one in Christ Jesus. And if we be Christ, then... Are ye Abram's seed and heirs according to the promise? Brethren, have you heard that? There is no more Jew nor Greek, circumcised nor uncircumcised, man or woman, bond or free. We are all one in our Lord Jesus Christ. How many children of God do you think exist? How many children has God? It is only one child. That is why it is said that we are all that one child. No matter how numerous we may be as the sand, we are only one flock. We are only that one child. There is only one God. There is only one God in each and every one of us. We are therefore one person. It is only one God who is in the world. It is not two different gods. If you are kept as a treasurer, do not regard this position to mean that you are so greatly loved by God. If you are endowed with the gift of faith, do not count it to mean that you are righteous. He endows us with different gifts according to his wish. It is the very God who is the embodiment of these virtues. It is a mark of foolishness for the leg to say that it has no business with the hand. Not being a hand does not prevent it from being one with the hand. It is foolishness for the eyes to say that it has no business with the nose since it is no nose. The hand, the leg, and the eye cannot say the stomach. What is your duty? Always consuming food. What will happen if the stomach should fail to consume food? Consider carefully right from the hair on the head to the toes of man, whether there is any part which has no function to perform. So it is with us, as long as we do not unite and understand 
ourselves as brothers, then there will be no peace, neither does it serve any useful purpose, but rather war, sickness, and death. Difference in opinion is inimical to progress. Take an example from what obtains in the local government. When she is about asking for amenities from the government, so some will request for secondary school, others will request for maternity home, some others will request for technical college, others will request for pipe borne water, which will the government grant? The request will be laid aside. None will be granted because it all shows a mark of foolishness. The government will rather vote a certain amount of money for the local government. One person will claim to be the right person to receive the money. The other person will say, do not give to this man. The vote will therefore be put back into the treasury. No person will be given. The people will therefore suffer. This is the punishment that besets the whole world. If we all should agree in principle that we are all brothers and sisters and then love one another, that will be the end. We will have many things. There will be good health. If we, if the Father chooses to send anything to one person for the benefit of mankind, then all eyes will be on the person. He will be accused, beaten in an attempt to exterminate him. What else will God do? You are wishing that you should be the moon. If you become the moon, what will, your, what will be your gain? The duty of the moon is to shine for us. It does not shine for, him, for itself. It is the Father's work that is performed. So it is with every one of us. The different gifts you are endowed with are not your bona fide property. They are for common good. You must use them for the benefit of all. Let us join hands together let us no more create division. Let there be no division since we are all one in our Lord Jesus Christ. Those of you who begrudge one another, know that this kingdom was established for you and me to enjoy it equally. Every person has the right to the promise. It is not because of your righteousness. It is not because I honor God. It is not because we are worthy. But for the sake of Abraham and the promise of God that he will give this world to Abraham and his descendants. If this promise was made for Abraham and his descendants, then the members of Ogboni society are his descendants. The Hindus, the Muslims, the Christians and all others, the murderers, the thieves, are all descendants of Abraham. If you say that a murderer has no share in this promise, that a thief has no right to it, that a necromancer is an evil man, then I ask, for whom did our Lord Jesus Christ die? He died to save them, so that they too may have a right to this promise. And so brethren, 
I do not intend to take you further than this. It is said, one stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wise. Any man who has ears to hear, let him hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you, Father.